talk about the challenges of being signed as late as you were, where you didn't get the benefit of the offseason program here? Um, yeah, I'd say the challenges are mostly like mental. So I got in late, uh, a couple days left OTAs. I uh, just got a brief understanding of the basics. Um, kind of was told what they what they wanted me to do a little bit. Got a uh, you know a quick rundown of some special team stuff, and then and then we were off. So I got back, and um, you know I I knew what they told me. I'd gotten down the basics, but it was it was far from from everything. So when we're, when we're installing stuff, and you know guys are just getting a refresher, a reminder, I got to learn the whole thing, and then you know playing playing a little bit of two positions, I got to learn you know. Two different positions with you know every every installation so um that's the main challenge and then also uh you know techniques are different team to team and being able to uh yeah not being able to rep that you know in the off season and throughout otas was is uh you know a bit of a challenge as well but um you know gotta do what you gotta do pick it up when you can you know try to be quick so how different is this team from what you did in cleveland um uh, it's pretty different as far as technique, and um, um, like I said, I, I'm playing a little bit of two positions, uh, standing up a little bit, and then also, uh, yeah, you know, put my hand in the ground. Um, yeah, the technique-wise, it, it is a bit different, but um, you know, I did, I did some uh, familiar or similar things my my rookie year and in college, so you know, kind of comes quick, and a lot of it does overlap, but but uh, it, it is different, but at the same time, you know, it's football. So, is there any work you would say would be considered? Uh, the end work as opposed to linebacker work with your hand in the ground, or is it? Oh yeah, yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, definitely about uh, an equal amount of both positions, I would say, thus far. And uh, obviously, the more player can do, the better their chances are. Do you look at it that way? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, try to be versatile. You know, the more you can do, the better. So that's that's you know kind of where my mindset is. You come to a team that's got a good number of quality edge defenders. Um, by my by an official count, you got like three sacks in the last three practices. How, how big is that? You're just trying to make an impact and catch the eyes of the coaches. Um, yeah, you know, it certainly helps um, being able to pass rush and play the run. You want to be able to do both. You want to be a complete player, and um, you know, you want to be able to get those opportunities when when third down rolls around or or passing situations. So, um, yeah, it's it's good that I can uh, you know get back there, get to the quarterback a few times here early on, so I can get opportunities later.